Good afternoon, Mimi Shirley lovers. Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shirley Mimi. To my darling MVPs, as usual, you all know I love you guys so much. You all are my real MVPs. Chop kiss. Mm -hmm. To my intended subscribers, why do you want to view and pass? Pause, okay? Subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because that's how you get the gist. I see the hurt. So, guys. We all know that you've been seeing this reality show. We all know that the housemates have been putting on a lot on their wager stacks this week, okay? And the team says back to school. So, in regards to their preparation and everything that they've been doing so far, and they'll be presenting it today. Prior to the presentation, tell me, do you think they will win this wager or it's going to be a lose? Let me know in the comment section if the housemate is going to win or lose their wager just by guess according to what you've seen them prepare so far for the team back to school just let me know in the comment section i want to know i ask this every time every week sorry to know if you guys guess wrong or right so today we're going to be discussing the diary sections of the housemates i'm going to be discussing each pairs diary section the housemates went in their pairs for diary section i wouldn't be discussing it deep okay i'll just be touching it a tip by tip okay just to make sure i discuss all the housemates because normally i don't get to discuss all diary sessions i discuss the ones i felt there's some things there is need to okay to discuss about it so now the first pair to get into the diary section today i'll be starting with the i'll be starting <coughs> sorry guys i'll be starting with the royals okay a boo boo and um and taxi okay so today actually what we brother actually asked the housemates is about their how, how they are doing their preparation their major preparation the press that are doing the most and the pairs that are doing the least and also if housemates have got to discuss their weakness and their strengths as per the game now okay so on that, and Big Brother will ask the housemates to advise themselves because mo mostly most of them they've not get to discuss their weakness nor their strength. So for the Royals, Taxi said Ebubu is quite negative, okay? Just like maybe when Big Brother asked him concerning their wager tax, he was not positive about it. So he said Ebu she said Ebubu should learn to be more positive about things that that he, he is handling, okay? And also in re in reverse, Ebubu said Taxi should believe in herself that she is so much more that he is always telling Taxi that she should get to accept herself like believe she should not always feel like she doesn't like she's not she's not doing enough okay that she should always accept her her truth okay her truth so for the carnival Canada Junior actually made Blue Ever so emotional. She said he said he's gonna got Blue Ever back even inside the house and outside the house. That if Blue Ever feel like ranting, shouting, screaming any day, any time, that his shoulder is there to lean on. Oh, who go tell me like this now? Someone should just please tell me like this. So it was actually so emotional. I'm um, sorry, Blue Ever was kinda emotional about it for this spread gosh this this was a dramatic pace you you see i used to tell you guys that when it comes to diary session i enjoy the kosiku so much but then uh, their drama is just three much okay that it starts from argument though so, so this so, so that that's because even actually start crying miracle you know when it starts for the other miracle started that uh, she he feels that kosi doesn't because he takes jokes from other people and when he gets to Miracle that he does she doesn't take her his joke, this one, that one. And Kosi was like Miracle pokes a lot. That miracle that she's trying her best to get to know Miracle. But now it, she is so painful that when she discusses with Miracle, Miracle wants to use that same thing as a joke on her. That thereby portraying that she cannot trust miracle okay because if she could tell miracle something a miracle will use it on him that that means she cannot trust miracle miracle said okay how come that they were just doing back and forth argument back and forth well this pair and wahala know they finished for them side though so to the juvon oh this ones are so darling they are my darlings okay they are they are um advice juvon told um, Justin that she is 27 and Justin is just 21 and be 22 that and they are in the same phase of life that Justin, Justin should always believe in himself and know that he is doing great okay and that definitely he is going to come out bright so that was her advice as an elder sister to her younger one so and I think Justin in reverse still advised her okay 
So that was just the, the advice they gave for each other. Just told Yvonne that she's, she's a nice person. She should always believe in herself and she should not always have this fear like, oh, that they are not doing, they are not doing well or anything, okay? That she should always accept whom she is, okay? And even after every, after their diary session, tell him, after everything, they went out and Yvonne asked for a hug despite, um, Justin not even give her breakfast like he did to others. <laughs> I love them. I love them. The Juvon pairs. These two, the way these two have started getting close, eh, I really, really do like it. Like they are getting so close, the Tabana pair. They want to start acting like the Kosi Queen the diary section. So in their advice, Nana said, Tabana, Taban is an instigator and that she likes it about him, that she should, she should continue making the house hot because the, the, that instigating shit is making the house bubble. <laughs> And also told Taban that he's a smart guy, that he should keep on doing what he's doing. And Taban now told Nana that she's a great person, she's competitive, and also that Nana should please at least learn to make peace an option at least. Nana now started laughing. Nana now said, okay, to you. Taban said, not just to me, to the other housemates. As for me, I do not have a problem, but learn to make peace an option. And Nana now told Taban too that Taban should please be just giving her gist as it they hurt because... Because let her not be the one to come and be asking her partner, what is it? What happened? What happened? I was like in my mind, hmm, Nana the Tata, for she won't gist that she will go and tell her, her coven, her coven members, okay? You know, they, they, they give us gist as they hold. So these two were so playful. They were so playful in the, in the diary section. But when, when that, when she said that instigating, do you know the thing did warm on my ear? Because it, it, it seems like Tabang does shit, but does not really make move about it. Like he, he he's a drama himself, but you will not know. He's a calm drama. So these two actually they are so sweet. The black leg, <laughs> black leg, bad boy complain on how Ipeleng is is playing mom's role in his life. How Ipeleng commands him, go and get me this, go and do this, go and do that. You know, Ipeleng was like, no, now, but he used to act please. So their theirs was interesting and was so fun to watch. While black boy told Ipeleng she always believe in herself. Okay, not. She should not get that negative mindset. Like sometimes they will decide to do something and the parent wants to change the plan at the dying minute and it is not done that way. All in the bit of fear that she should believe in herself. And the parent also told Black Boy that Black Boy is great as he should keep being him. He should keep being himself and all that. So it was all fun from for them and how Black Boy was just, they were lamenting on how Ipeleng is always sending him. He said Ipeleng, he will be busy. Ipeleng will say, go and get me this, go and get me that, you know. So it's so sweet to know that Ipeleng bonds so well with Black Boy. It's so good to know. So for the Jovla, Juicy J and Olivia, their advice to each other, Juicy J, um, Juicy J advised Olivia to, uh, to be herself and all that. Then Olivia told Juicy J that, Juicy J is great, but Juicy J should learn to sleep less. <laughs> and she learns to sleep less. Sleep and also that she should not get himself overworked up concerning the games, how stars like as he stands in the house, it's just the Jovla and the Juvon that has not experienced the, the head of house room. So that is really affecting them. So they are just in a haze, in a bit to just make sure to win that. Like how they didn't win the last game, head of house game, that Juicy J was not cool about it, that he should learn to calm down, okay? That he shouldn't be, he shouldn't let that work him up, work him up that way like that, okay? So the, the Elisa's were the last but not the least. You know, they are the head of us. It's normal for them to, to do last. So their diary section, the brother asked them, let me just discuss bits. Let me just make them theirs deeper, okay? Because they are the head of us. When my brother asked them, the housemaid that contributes the most, Yemi, they said black clang actually, but Yemi wanted to mention the Kosiku too. But black, um, Nelisa said the black clang did most more than the Kosiku. So for the last mates that did less in the preparation of the task, the Yelisa said the Tabana, that Tabang is the only one doing the work that Nana is not doing anything, okay? So, but I think Tabang has been working his ass out, so he should be sp and keep out of that, you know, people that does less. So also the advice, Yemi advised Nelly, okay, Nelly's advice, Yemi, that that's first, yeah, she jokingly said, don't let Miracle walk you up, you know, Yemi now laughs. So later, she now said, okay, that she used to tell Yemi this, that Yemi should always, to make sure he have fun and do what he wants to do, that she's always telling him, this. she doesn't know if he takes that for a joke. So Yemi advised to Nelly, Yemi advised to Nelly, Nelly told Nelly to be herself, 
She not let anybody look down on her. That she is beautiful the way she is. You know the kind of advice she told. She has always let me has always told Nelisa such okay. And also she said secondly that Nelisa play way too much okay. And I think this got to Nelisa in a kind of way because she was like, you've been bottling some emotions. That this thing is your unbottling your emotion you mean i said no it happened to then i explained the scenario where they were trying to make things up and nelisa was playing and which is not good on his part okay so he aired his mind the second one the third one what did he say again he advised her i think he advised her also that she should go for what she wants but at the same time she should learn to safeguard her, her peace why she does that nelisa in a bit said uh, that she transferred her advice to to him back okay so it wants to seem like a, a, nelisa was not that cool with yemi's kind of advice but at the same time it is what it is yemi has said his mind and that is it okay i don't think there is issue i always call them one of the best pair that connected deeply not about closeness or anything but the way they connected okay so that is that about the diary session so guys let me know in the comment section about what you think okay on their way jata if they are going to win or nah okay let me know by meanwhile stay up to date do not blink okay if you snooze you do what you lose there's no sleeping on the bicycle in this channel so i'll be right back okay i'll be i'll be bringing the gist as the heart trust me just make sure your notification bell is turned on i got you and i'm sure you got me too this is mimi trusting mimi i'll see you guys soon bye for now